says it's trying to help the farmer control his newly acquired land, which caused over a 60-mile road closure and 100-mile detour along Interstate 10. The problem with that area down there is that the sand is so silty and it's sandy, so it doesn't have any clay contents. Carol Clark at SoilWorks says one of her sales reps saw the dust coming and knew they had a solution. Imagine a substance as sticky as glue, only instead of a six ounce bottle, SoilWorks poured thousands of it at a time. The Gorilla Snot creates a crust. That's right, Gorilla Snot. And a 3D cap, it's still flexible enough that you can walk on, drive on. ADEQ says, while it started as an environmental issue, it's now a public safety concern. It would be a, a respiratory issue, um, so anybody that would be caught in that dust storm, they could be potentially exposed if their windows were open. While Soil Works is pouring gallons of Gorilla Snot to curb the problem, ADEQ says the farmer has a plan on his end. Um, he's also going to be planting seed in between the uh, trees uh, that gives a vegetative cover. And ultimately, once the trees become a little more mature, we get some grass grown. That, that will take care of the issue going forward. And at 10000 a day, he's hoping Gorilla Snot dries fast. One Arizona lawmaker says blowing dust can be reduced using a method from 1977. Tucson Senator Steve Farley says the Department of Agriculture used bulldozers to pile beams near the freeway and then planted trees and other plants on top to block the dust. Farley says this could be a quick fix to stopping future dust storms.